Welcome to another exciting episode of Coffee and Radio. I am Heartthrob Rob, and unfortunately today we are talking about the passing of Scream Queen Daphne. Daphne of WCW, uh, also known as Shan Sproul. Just sad to see, man. She's only 46 years old. And, uh, you know, this video is more about just her career and the things that she's, you know, had and done over the course of her career, um, which, you know, she, she started in 1999. But um, this career is, you know, it's more than that. It's the mental health, you know, awareness that people, I think, need to get through their head of checking up on your friends, making sure everything's okay. I mean, we as this wrestling community are such a tight-knit community and, you know, we show so much love for other, for people, but do we really check up on them, you know? Once the, you know, the camera stops rolling, what, what do we really know about these people and what can we do to help, you know, these performers that have given us so many years of their life, you know, bumps and miles on the road, everything that they've done. I think maybe, you know, checking up on your friends a little bit more could help, um, you know, steer away from these kind of situations that have uh, come up like, like today. Um, but yeah, rest in peace to Daphne who got her career started in 1999 um, as a wrestler in WCW. Uh, she started off as kind of like a crazy, she was one of the first girls to think, hey, you know, this Harley Quinn gimmick, you can do something with this, you know? Harley Quinn, I think, didn't start till 93, 94. It's a lot later than most DC villains, but Daphne took it and ran with it. She also used um, Julia, whatever her name is, in, um, oh, fuck, it. I can't think of that name. Homeboy from Carnage, it doesn't matter, uh, Natural Born Killers. Um, you know, she took that, a little bit of that character and just mixed it together. It's just, you know, this crazy psychotic girl and she got her start as, you know, one of the WCW party things and it was her kind of, you know, tripping out about David Flair and she got her started wrestling, you know, they wanted fresh faces and she was, I think, 24, 25 maybe at the time when she is on national television, 24, 26, something like that. Um, and, you know, she starts off with David Flair, son of Ric Flair. What a big, big time gimmick. And, you know, she had a lot of matches with Miss Hancock. And at one point, she even won the WCW Cruiserweight title. Um, you know, how crazy is that? But with budget cuts and everything that, you know, DC, WCW was going through at the time. By the way, she did, had an amazing career there. She did her thing. She had matches. Uh, you know, she actually learned to lock up from Shane Helms. He posted that earlier today. But um, uh, she had, you know... Uh, worked with Crowbar a lot. She, um, she she was Crowbar's manager for a long time. David Flair, obviously. Uh, the matches against um, Miss Elizabeth. She just had a lot of the matches in that later half of WCW that kind of gets overlooked. But I think she was you know a fun part of that. And you know the fact that she had like her own like T-shirts and wore crazy sayings and screamed a lot and just had a lot of crazy stuff to say. I think that was good. She for someone who was not a fucking wrestler, wrestler, wrestler for a long time and kind of gets thrown into this. I think she did very well. Unfortunately, WCW comes to an end in 2001, and a month before they close their doors, Daphne is actually let go due to budget cuts. But um, if she would have been picked up by WWE at the time, who knows what could have happened. Um, but from there, she does some stuff at uh, T. You know, she goes and does some stuff for Dusty Rhodes, and uh, for about eight months, and then moves on to TNA for a while. Does some crazy stuff in TNA in 20, 2008, something like that. I forget the year, but she does some stuff. It doesn't matter. She does some stuff in TNA. Um, she does the beautiful people gimmick, a lot of that stuff. But um, you know, she bounces around, does some independence, but she makes a, a lot of um, uh, stuff. She does some stuff with Shimmer. She comes back to Impact later on. Um, but like I said, this isn't really so much about her career. It's just making sure to check up on your friends. The mental health game. It's very sad to hear about kind of what had happened. You know, yesterday she had um, made some you know concerning you know, talks on Instagram Live on a post and said that, you know, brain, um, CTE is very real and, you know, she do, don't make mistakes like her and she looked to be handling what we could possibly be a gun, and, you know, when she passes away the next day and they haven't said it what the, you know, the reason for her death, but, you know, when you post a video like that, one can only assume and one can only imagine, you know, the reason why she's not here today. But, um... You know, like I said, just check up on your friends. Mental health is real. These people are taking bumps on their bodies. You never know what really is going on in someone's, you know, background, let alone with, you know, your 
brain getting jolted for years at a time. But um, I like to remember the good parts of Daphne, man. I didn't get to see a lot of that at the time. I, I was watching it, but, you know, to watch it and, like, come back, it's like, you know, that is cool, you know? And you got to think how young you are. You're just still a kid at 24. You're just a kid, you know? And to be bouncing around and, you know, working with these legends, it's kind of crazy. And she had her own little gimmick, which I thought was very cool. The psychotic, psychotic girl is, you know, was not a was not really a thing, you know, it was more of a Miss Sherry if you went in that crazy direction, right? And look at, you know, 10, 15 years later, here comes Daphne and does her own thing and carves her own lane. So that's what I like to think about, um, you know, and the, her times and the good times and the memories that people have had with her. People loved her. I think she had a great look and I think she, you know, was very fun for the business. And I'm sad to see her go. But let me know what you guys think, man. We'll talk about it in the comments. Leave your best Daphne story if you ever met her or maybe one of your favorite memories from her wrestling. But let me know what you guys think. We'll talk about it in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you like what you're watching, then hop in the coffin. Follow us on social media at Coffin Radio. Coffin is spelled with a K. And that's all for today. Coffin Radio.